I never thought I'd be stepping back in here, but it looks like there's some new content with Soul Wars. Let's go. Hello Zimberfizz once again. So if I click on the map, I can actually see that we are in a whole new area. They have made a lot of updates with this map now. Uh, this is off the coast of Feldip Hills over here and right below Zolandra. But it looks like there's some new content somewhere in this dungeon. or uh, I think it's here in the dungeon. So let's get right to it and go see what we can do. All right, so I'm turning the corner. I see a, a bird snare and a chocolate bar, so we must be on some kind of path. Uh, I believe this is the dungeon we're looking for today. If we go in here, there should be a lot of monsters. Let's see, we got greater demons, fire giants, blue dragons, and iron dragons. We are looking for a chest. It does not say where the chest is, it just says it's in the dungeon. Anyone around here? No, okay, we got a free world now. So we can just roam here. We're looking for an item called a dark key. Now, this should, I don't know the drop rate for it, but ideally we get a bunch of them. I probably should have brought a herb sack. Oh, and there's one of the things is if you uh, fail, you get sent out of the dungeon. All right, and there's our first inventory of things from here. All right, so technically we're on our second inventory still. Um, this is a lot, this is probably 10 minutes later and I'm just now getting my first dark key. I've also got a, a medium clue, which is pretty nice, but let's check the loot so far. We've got one sapphire, six emeralds, four rubies, and two diamonds. And then for herbs, we should have a lot of stuff, yeah. Seven guams, uh, four ranars, and five lanch dimes. It says rare for the like chance of getting a dark key. I've definitely looted this chest about a hundred plus times, so I should be somewhere around that drop table. It looks like these are also stackable, which is pretty interesting. So we could just keep these in our inventory and not have to worry about them or anything, which is pretty nice. One thing I have noticed though is even though I am max and I've got 99 thieving and I've got the cape on and I've got the uh, RD diary which should lower the chance of me like failing I guess pickpockets but I mean I guess this would I would consider this a pick lock or pickpocket whatever um, I get teleported out of here very frequently like just the second inventory I think I got teleported like 10 plus times and it's not hard to run back. Uh, you do basically kind of need a stamina dose every time though, which is kind of annoying. All right, we are about 40 minutes in and we are just now getting our second key. So I could say the average is about 20 minutes per key, which really isn't worth it. I would say it could be faster if you didn't get teleported out as often as I have been. Another thing they could do to speed this up is if they have a shortcut for people who have like, you know, 80, agility or something like that and go right from here to the runite rocks maybe all right well i wanted to make this video for you guys and i, I think in the future if jagex ever changes the amount of teleportations out of the dungeon or makes a shortcut to make it actually doable then this content will be a lot easier however currently day of release it is not i literally did two pick locks and got uh thrown out of the dungeon and I'm tired of walking in and out constantly, so instead we're just going to make a 20 loot video into a 2 loot video. So, let's get on with the video. I think I have to make my way up to this dungeon now. Uh, there's two teak trees over here, which- Oh, Lucky Impling, hold up, hold up. Hold up, this, this video got a lot better all of a sudden. Let's get, some, let's get something cool. 10 purple sweets, I'll take it. And what am I looking for? That the, that's the dark chest, open cell door. We have two keys. Key number one, 139, and we took damage, 139 blood runes for 54k. Last one, 12 dragon bones, and we took 10 damage there, so 23k. Uh, so in, what was that, about an hour or so, almost of time, we made 240-ish k. Actually, no, hold on, sorry. <laughs> that, I knew that was too much. Okay, so we made 177k. In addition to that money, we also have however much this is, so I guess we can go off and sell this to the GE, and we can see how much money we made within about an hour of this loot table. Okay, so within one hour of looting the new dark chests, not the actual like dark chests, but the chest to get into the dark chest, we made 
a little over 200k, so if you have, I guess, 28 thieving, you can make 200k an hour, which actually isn't that bad. I don't know if it's the greatest, but it is something. You have to keep in mind I am max, even though uh, that may not have even mattered because I got teleported out probably just as frequently as someone with 28 thieving. So regardless, uh, I hope you all like this video and I will see you all next time.